What's going on YouTube? Mike Deck is here and I finally have a video for you guys. I've been busy as shit. I don't care. Uh, I won't rant for now, but today I got a RU battle against Noah. I'm going to say right off the bat, this is not my team. I suck at RU. I don't build teams for RU. I don't play RU. So I am using Molten Curum's team because I don't team build. But anyway, looking at our teams, um, he's got a pretty similar team to me. Um, I'm going to lead off with... Uh, Uxie just looking at my rocks up. Uh, I'm not really too sure at that point what it wants to lead with, but um, it doesn't really. Uxie is my physically defensive wall, and f seeing as how four out of his six guys are physical, I'm pretty sure I have a good matchup against most of the guys on his team, minus the. Uh, the. Um, what the hell is that called? Drapion. And uh, if he goes to Clay, I'll just U turn out. But I'm just going to set up my rocks as uh, he ends up going for a trick. Apparently, he's scarfed with max defense, so. Yeah, I don't get. I didn't get that. I still had sped, which is pretty funny because Claydol is pretty slow. But uh, I'm gonna go for a U-turn now, and uh, seeing as, seeing as how he has max XP, max defense, it doesn't do jack. Gonna go out to Rotom, predicting he's gonna rapid spin. Uh, I believe now he just sets up his rocks though, and here he makes a pretty questionable play. I'm gonna go. For, I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball. He only has one resist, which I figured he would bring in, which is Drapion. But I could probably get, you know, just I could gauge how much damage it does. And uh, I was actually very debated on double switching, but he he goes into Rotom, and Rotom's not gonna take a Shadow Ball at all. I'm just gonna one shot it. So yeah, no, I didn't get that play. But anyway, he decides to go out to Drapion now. I'm predicting pr pursuit, so I want to scout. So I'm gonna go for a sub. And uh, if he does pursuit, then I'm trapped. So I'm just gonna go for a T bolt from there, do some damage. But he ends up double switching out to Drapion. Um, not sure why. Probably should have just gone for attack, or maybe he does not have pursuit. I don't know. But um, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. And it's looking like it's going to be close to a 2 hit KO. I'm not sure at this point. But nothing on my team wants to take an outrage. So I got to go for it. Go for a Shadow Ball. He says he loses like 6 HP. And I was like, ugh. But Rotom did a pretty good job. Took out one guy, crippled another. So uh, I'm not complaining. Rotom did some work. And uh, I'm pretty sure at this point now, his Claydol does not have Rapid Spin. But uh, we'll see from here. I go out to Nails or the Uxie just so I can just U-turn. I didn't really want to bring anything else out, seeing as how not too sure if anything else in my team outspeeds because this team is pretty slow. Um, but I didn't want to bring out um, my, what's it called, my uh, Afro Bull thing out. But Buffalon out too early. Going to go to out now into my uh, the boss's Pokemon ever, Stunfisk. And uh, going to go for a Scald trying to get the burn. But uh, unfortunately for me, he actually gets the power hacks from my static. And uh, I actually did not want that. So I was, I was actually not too happy about that. But I'm um, going to switch out now. Go out into my... Uh, I'm going to go out into my... What's it called? God damn it. Cheese. Why are you calling me? But, uh... Anyway, going to go out into my um, uh, Uxie, just go for a U-turn, and uh, now it's going to send out my Polyrath, thinking he's just going to Ice Punch again, because don't see Life Orb, he's going to, assuming his choice, I got a crit, which uh, makes up for the burn, but uh, I guess the residual damage I get from burn, but I'd still rather have this thing burned, but anyway, goes for a close combat, apparently he's bulky expert belt, and I was not expecting that at all. But uh, Polyrath's pretty. I have this is max HP, no no defense investment, and Polyto is pretty bulky. But uh, predicting the waterfall here, that he that he thinks I'm gonna go for waterfall. I'm gonna set up a sub as he brings in Polyrath, as I was thinking, and apparently I'm just gonna go for Focus Punch. Not really too sure of what he wants to do, and uh, I go first, meaning I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for Circle Throw, which is fine because I have a sub up. But um, apparently this Polyrath that he has is not running any attack investment or something. Apparently it's bulk up. And that does not break my sub. So that's pretty good for me. And uh, I'm just going to go for another focus punch. And I'm pretty sure even after leftovers I can take it out. And uh, I end up doing it. So that's pretty good. I got Polyrath behind a sub. And uh, now I'm just going to probably just waterfall whatever comes in. Because he doesn't really have a resist. And he's going to bring out Claydol now. Because it's pretty much the most useless thing on his team. Going to go for a waterfall. Easily going to bring him down to a point where I can 2 a KO. He's going to go for Earth Power, which is going to break my sub. And, uh, yeah, and I'm just going to go for a Waterfall to break up the sub, break, take this Claydol down. And I'm looking pretty good. Um, I have pretty good advantage. He has only, I think he only has, uh, Drapion and, uh, Gallade left at this point in the battle. Um, and the Gallade is paralyzed. 
So I'm at a pretty good position right now, and uh, he's going to decide to bring out Drapion. Not sure what he wants to do. I'm thinking maybe this thing is, like, especially defensive. And here he shows Swords Dance. And uh, like I said, I don't play RU too much, and I'm assuming this is, uh, this is when Crest was not banned, so I'm assuming this is a Cresselia counter uh, with, as a bulky Swords Dancer. And uh, now I'm just going to go for the Waterfall again, trying to get as much damage as possible. I probably should have circle throwed in hindsight because his Gallade was paralyzed, but, you know, hindsight's 2020, and uh, would have prevented him from getting up, uh, or at least forcing him to set up one more turn. But, you know, whatever. Like I said, hindsight's 2020, and uh, he's going to go for a Night Slash to finish me off. And uh, it's fine. I'm thinking maybe I can outspeed with Honkrow and kill him, but. It turns out he's max HP, max speed, I think, or something. And he hits me with a Night Slash. I'm thinking, okay, that's fine. Night Slash, I can live. Up, oh, no, but he gets a crit. Damn it. So, that's pretty bad. Um, now, I'm pretty much kind of scraping around, thinking what I can do. And I realized I have a Scarfed Uxie. And uh, I could just paralyze this thing. Because I'm going to be faster now that I have the Scarf. So I'm just going to set this, have this thing set a T-Wave. Daddy's going to Sword Dance anyway. Not going to matter. I'm going to leave this Uxie in to die and just keep T-Waving if I have to. And uh, now I'm going to go out into my final Pokemon, which is my... Well, that you're, I'm going to use this battle, which is my Bufalant. And because he's, his last two guys are paralyzed, I am free to just head smash whatever the hell I want. So I'm going to go for that head smash. And uh, that's going to take out the Drapion, which is good for me. I can't believe we just said that, which is great. Um, and now he all he's left is with is this Gallade. Not don't want head smash to miss, so I'm just gonna go for a sub and make, force him to use close combat, for lowering his defenses, and I'm just gonna go for EQ to finish him off. And that's gonna be the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Good game, Noah. Uh, questionable switch in the start. That probably would change the battle a lot. But anyway, uh, you know I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Um, yeah, content wise, I'm sorry. I'm just really busy. Having a life kind of means I can't really post YouTube videos. But uh, Smodon asked me to help them out with their channel, so I might be doing that soon. But we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, rate, comment, sub, and peace out, guys. Mike Deck is out of here. Later.